and good morning rail I'm sorry you had to wait it won't be long now she's rarely very late and there we are how are we doing uh, I'm getting there <laughs> There we go. How are we doing? Welcome to Panera. Welcome to my daily morning routine. Learning how to keep myself on the camera at arm's length. I should have brought my tripod in the harsh white light of early morning Camp Hill, Pennsylvania. And here I'm showing you. I have my computer out. And I have my souffle. I am souffle girl, always. There we go. Apologize for the jerky uh, camera motion. I want to relate a story that was passed along to me and part of it has to do with my current work in process my computer story as you can see it's there been working on it. It's my work in process. Unlike you hookers, I only have one at a time. There's a scene in the story where Carrie, my main male character, my young lad from Cardiff, he, um, he gets in a racing accident. And the racing accident it could have been preventable. It's caused by, we'll call her that girl, more or less. And he ends up in the hospital with a uh, torn up left knee. And he basically tears up all the ligaments in his knee and he uh, had a broken right ankle. And um, his girlfriend Annie is rather upset over the whole situation but later she comes back um, to the hospital in her night clothes after she's changed she um, comes to sort of apologize and one of the comments she makes to Carrie is that because he's lived in a household with very little affection he, he's not felt a lot of affection over the years he feels as if he's not loved and one of the things that Annie tells him is that you are worthy of love you deserve love eventually he's able to express his feelings to Annie. So, you know, spoilers, but it, it's no big surprise. He will eventually drop the entire big L word on her. It's coming soon. But he keeps getting down on himself through the years. And part of the um, history that I've created for these characters as they move along Carrie has a rather difficult time with his parents and he continues to beat himself up over it. You know, essentially, he's fearful of losing his parents, losing his grandparents, losing any sort of a semblance of family that he has. It takes him a long time to realize that when Annie tells him, you're worthy of love. She meant that he's worthy of loving himself, which he never has. 
he's never felt love for himself because there wasn't any need for it. He was more or less, to put it bluntly, dead inside. And it was related to me last night that one of the things I need to know about myself is that I have to know that it's okay to love myself. And that's one thing that I've had a very difficult time doing because a lot like Carrie, I haven't had much affection in my life. It's okay to love another person. It's not always easy. It's pretty hard sometimes. But as I was reminded, you gotta love yourself too, Cassie. You have to tell yourself every night and every morning that you are the most important person in your life. And if you don't love yourself, then what's the point? Anyone else who loves you is just loving an empty shell. You're just dead inside, hanging on to others. Living through their love. But that's not a good way to do it. So new day, new morning, and when I went to bed last night, I said to myself, you're a wonderful woman, you're a wonderful person, and it's okay to love yourself. So now I have two people to love, and I will. Good morning. I have my souffle. I haven't seen it yet. I have my coffee. Let the llama sleep today. We'll take care of everything later. Besides tomorrow Sunday. And new Doctor Who tonight, so. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, Hodgers. Thanks again, and have a good day. <laughs>